Hello everyone. So today we are going to discover a new features of WordLift that calls WordLift mappings. We will see how with WordLift mappings we can customize uh, any kind of a schema. So uh, starting with the entity based content model, imagine that we have the websites. I'm going to take our website for example right now. Uh, we are going to analyze the different components, the different schemas that we have on the websites and we are going to see how I can personalize uh, uh, any uh, kind of schemas I have on the websites using WordLift and using the advanced custom fields. So if we take our website, for example, we have, I mean, a lot of contents, we have the blog, uh, we have the academy, we have the course, and for each kind of content we have on the websites, we can use a specific uh, schema. What we're going to see today, what I'd like to discuss uh, is a specific um, markup related to the service. So we know that WordLift, I mean, uh, provide uh, an SEO service, okay? A custom uh, package for, for the different clients that, uh, that we have. And we will see how can I transform the page that I have related to the service and how I can customize it and how I can build a custom structure data starting from the advanced custom fields and using the WordLeaf mappings. So let's get started. Here we go. So imagine that um, I would like to start, for example, with this page. So here we have uh, WordLift and I would like to customize the SEO management service that we have on the website. So my goal is uh, communicating the search engine that I have a specific service related to that SEO management. Okay. So this is the result. First of all, I would like to get, so we will start from the results. So this is the markup that I have here. We have, for example, the service, as you see here, and after we add different components, uh, inside this uh, markup. So we have, for example, the area servit. Okay, this one from the demo website. So I'm using only for, uh, I mean, uh, showing how it works. And we have the provider. And finally, I mean, we have some informations uh, related, for example, to the offer that I can use and I can uh, provide my uh, client with. This is only to, to do this example. And let's see how we can use it and how we customize it. First, we can start always from uh, schema.org. Okay, so um, we can go here and see the service uh, markup that we have here. And from this uh, page, I can pull out the uh, properties that I need in order to build my custom markup. So from this uh, page, I decided basically to bring three basic information that are important and interesting for, for the business. So I decided to bring the area survey, for example. Okay, let's see, I mean, step by step how we can do it. So I start by copying the uh, properties that I would like to have, okay? And just put them here. For example, I choose the area survey. Then I choose the provider for, for, uh, for the service. So I would like to tell the search engine, hey, looks, I have a service uh, page and this is the provider. So who is the organization behind the service? In our case is WordLift. So I choose the provider. And finally, I uh, try to mention some information related to the offer of the service okay so after i choose offers for example and let's see step by step how i can do this uh, um, customizing i mean of the structured data on, on the website so now let's jump to the uh, demo website here to do the, the the training so this is the seo measurement service let's say on on the demo website okay what i want to start with first of all uh, building custom fields uh, in order to fit up with the service that I'm trying to mark up. So we have two main steps. First of all, creating the advanced custom fields that I'm going to use in order to build this uh, customized markup. The second step will be using the word diff mappings in order to map this 
custom fields that I've ha I have already created. So let's start with the, uh, first of all the custom fields. Okay, so first of all, I need to be sure that I have the advanced custom fields uh, plugin is installed. I prefer to have the uh, pro version of this uh, plugin. Then I'm going to jump uh, to the custom fields that I have. And I will start building the markup. Okay, so let's say that we are building the service markup. And what I'm going to do is start creating the fields based on the custom markup that I would like to build. So I choose it three properties. Okay, so I have the area servlet. Okay, let's start by this one. This is the label that I can name it, I mean, as I prefer. Okay, and this is the field name that must respond uh, basically to the property that I choose from schema. This is the field type. This is important because we can choose from different, uh, I mean, kinds of uh, and types of the fields what's important that the uh, type of the field respond to the kind of the markup that i would like to do so in our case for example i'm going to use url because i'm going to come back to wiki data wiki uh, data and choose the entities that i want so let's say i want to united states and italy i just copy them okay so this is what i need to do here i mean if i have only one country i can use the url and put the default value for example for the country where my service is valid but if i want to use more than one country there's i mean very cool uh, functions here i can use the repeater okay so let's jump to the repeater here and i can add another small group and then the repeater and let's say we are going to use two URLs, okay? And this one, this is the URL that we want to use. So we have, I mean, the area survey, and after we have different URLs, and each URL respond exactly to the country where my service is uh, built, okay? Then what I'm going to do is adding another uh, markup, for example, the provider okay the field name is the provider and here we have also a cool function that allow me to um, connect the uh, markup that i'm working on in this case service with another entity that is already present in my vocabulary so let's say if i have the um, entity of the organization which is my business in our case wordlift I can connect right now the property on the service markup with the entity of the organization which is the provider of the service. In order to do that, what I need to do is creating a relationship between this property and the entity itself. So, uh, what we can do is going to relation, okay? After once we are inside the relation, we can filter the connection with which taxonomy that we want to use in our case is the organization. Okay, this is the taxonomy. Okay, we can use the search. And this is a very important thing. Why? Because we have to use the post ID in order to uh, bring this ID of the post of the entity. So we have the entity page with a specific ID and Wordlift will allow me to bring all the information, all the structured data, which is under this entity, under this post, under this ID, and inject it directly on the new markup that I'm working on for the service page, okay? Now we are going to jump to the third property that we'd like to, to add, which could be a little bit more complex than the other. So we're going to add the offers. So here we go, let's start. 
here we have the offers okay we, we notice that i mean with the offers we have i mean a second level because this is the offers related to the service markup and then we have other one which is the offer here which could be i mean a second level so from the second level the cool thing that i can do is it choosing the properties that i want okay so i choose for example the price the price currency the availability and the price very handle we can bring them directly i mean to the markup so here we can do first level offers and after we have the second level with all the properties that they have inside what i need to do here is creating a group okay so we have the offers then we have the group that that contains the the, the second level so i'm going to choose a group okay the good thing here that also i can i mean mention some informations related to this um, markup so uh, i mean if there are some other people who are working on the websites and i would like to provide instruction for the informations at different markups we can use it here okay so they can understand what we are working on here and what is the purpose of this markup we can also i mean choose if this markup would be required or not i mean this is a very cool thing especially for the uh, properties that are uh, requested by google so maybe we can choose the unrequired for the recommended are the required for for the necessary and fundamental markups to avoid having errors on the structured data testing tool so we can use also i mean this function to to, to choose um, whether the uh, and it is required or not then we will start i mean creating the second level so the price here for example okay which could be a um, number then we have uh, the price currency okay let's say it's a ticket and by default it will be a usd then we have the availability as we see here it will be a url and let's say that uh, we have always i mean this server is available so it's in stock and then we will move to the praise very down the there is i mean important things when we um speak about the date here we can choose uh, the data picker for example here and we need to use a custom format because this is the right format is required by the search engine so this one must be uh, made in this way the year the month and after the day okay and then we can update okay and here in the rules we can choose where to show these uh, advanced custom fields so sorry error was in the post instead i have to choose the page here okay this is the page and this is the seo management service page that i want okay and then we are going to make update and that's it Okay, now let's move to the back end of the websites and see what we can do with the advanced custom fields that we created. So, uh, as we see right now, we can notice these new fields that we created starting from the advanced custom fields. And what we can do right now, start filling the information related to these fields. So, starting with the area of it, let's say that we want to cover the United States, for example. Okay, and uh, Italy. So we bring the United States. We can add also another URL, Italy. This is very cool. I mean, um, function by using the provider because right now we can choose the kind of entity that we want in order to bring the structured data from. So in our case, word lift. So you can choose. I mean, anything here, and you can add it uh, to the to the markup. Okay. In our case, we are going to say that the provider of the service is the organization entity of WordLift. Then we have the offers. We can choose, let's say, 1,500 $1, USD, valid until, let's say, uh, 2,021, uh, 30, okay. 
and after we are going to make the update and that's it we finished the first part related to the advanced custom fields so for now what we did we go ami to schema.org we decided what kind of markup we want we said in this our case the service we pull out the properties that we want to 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 inject in our um, customized markup we create the advanced custom fields and we create the data behind these fields let's move right now to the uh, second and final steps okay now after uh, creating the advanced custom fields and after creating all, all the information let's move to the second and the final step by doing the world leaf mapping so how we can do the world leaf mappings we go to the world leaf and we see under the functions of world leaf, we see here the mappings so what we can do is uh, creating a new mappings okay and decide where to apply this mapping so we are going the to, to create the service mappings and here we can choose the rules so where we are going to apply the mappings for this stuff so we can choose i mean from the taxonomy to the post to the entity in our case we would like to apply this mapping for the service entities okay so we choose the entity service we choose what is equal to and we choose the service uh, here okay so moving here to the service let's see we have it here okay and right now we start i mean choosing the different properties so we were going to map the area servlet then we are going to choose the advanced custom fields and after we decide to choose the field that we want okay then we can move to the provider we create it using the advanced custom fields after we choose it from here and the, here we have i mean very very important step we because we can choose the transform function for for this markup as this markup i mean uh, a special markup because what we are going to do here is bringing the structured data from another entity is already exist on the websites we need to use this option from post ID to entity because I'm going to use the post ID of that entity that I created before and pull all the information uh, behind this entity. Here we have, I mean, um, very important things we need to remember always when we create the advanced custom fields for uh, this stuff because in the advanced custom fields for example here on the service markup we are uh, working on we need to ensure that uh, the relationship that we have is connected with the post id as we did in our example okay this will allow us to bring information related to the organization and finally we are going to choose the offers so we have the offers here we have the advanced custom fields and after we are going to choose the offers and do the saving and that's it in this way we customize the uh, structure data the markup for our service um, page and this is exactly the result that we are going to have on uh, this page so we have the type the service we have i mean the entity id we have the area servlet as we uh, mentioned before we have the different information related to the provider so see here we have the provider which is the organization that we annotated before and we have also the different information related to the offers and the uh, different properties that we choose from the offers in order to complete our markup.